Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricutology.blogspot.com and today I'm going to be decorating a piece of canvas that is, it's a little canvas, it's 10 by 8 inches and what I did was I took a 12 by 12 piece of um, this pattern paper that I've had forever so I think it was a old DCWV pattern paper and I cut it down to, basically what I did was I measured three quarters of an inch larger on each side. So the paper came out to be nine and a half by eleven and a half. And I scored it three quarters of an inch in from each of the sides. And then I folded it on the score line. So that gave me a nice crisp fold. And then I came in here and made little slits with my scissor up to the score line right here because I basically want to wrap the canvas like a present. Okay? And I'm using decoupage. It's called Mod Podge. And this is a great product to use for this. And I got the idea from Jackie over at Michael's, the Michael's that I work. I teach scrapbooking over at the Michael's at Waterford Lakes in Orlando. And she was telling me that she uses her Cricut a lot for this. So I said, oh, that just gave me a great idea of something that I wanted to make. And what I am making is a decoration for a little girl's room. Um, my neighbor's having a birthday party, and everything's going to be Hello Kitty. So, I am making her a Hello Kitty wall hanging for her room. So, first we're going to just cover this, give this a nice coat. And you can find the Mod Podge over in the glue section of Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby. They all carry it. Even Walmart. You can get it at Walmart too in the craft department. Okay, I'm just trying to center it. It takes a little while to dry, so it's it's easy to work with in that respect. Oh, I think I got it centered. And get all the bubbles out. Okay, so I've got Hello Kitty mostly put together. I just want to show you something. Um, I cut her out um, of the Hello Kitty Greetings cartridge um, at 7 inches. Okay, and I wanted to show you how I do the nose because when it cuts on the cartridge, when it cuts the nose out, look how little it is. Do you see that? I don't like I don't like it that small. I want it to cover the whole thing. And the same with the flower centers. They cut out way too small. So what I do is I just get a piece of the color I want. And yes, Hello Kitty's nose is orange. I always assumed it was pink, but my little friend Emma, who I'm making this for, she she set me straight. So so now I know. Even though I am a Hello Kitty fan, she and I joke that, you know, we're Hello Kitty fan. We're in the Hello Kitty fan club together, she and I. Okay, so see? So now it's got a good flower center. Alright, so now you just gotta line it up, figure out which way is right. 
I'm just going to keep going around. And there we have it. I'm just using the Mono Tombow Aqua Liquid Glue to put it together. I think I'm missing a little white piece right there. It might still be. It's probably still on here, and I think. Let's see. I think this is it right there. Bunny's little hand. I think I glued everything else down. And then this teeny tiny flower. I had to do the same thing. Maybe I will um there we go. Now we gotta figure out how this thing goes. There we go. So she's ready. And these are the We Are Memory Cake. We Are Memory Makers. No, We Are Memory Keepers. Tweezers. Okay, so now we're going to, and just so you know, I covered the sides with a pink ribbon just to give it a finished look. And then now I'm going to apply this with some of this Mod Podge. And uh, see, it's just like a white looking glue. And I'm just going to apply it liberally here. And like I said, it'll dry, it will dry clear and shiny. They do sell it with a matte finish. If you want it with a matte finish, they sell it with glitter in it. Okay, so then you go over the whole thing. And yes, it looks white, but it'll be okay. And just kind of even it out. My new friend Jackie over at Michael's for giving me this idea. It's so great. I may do some more home decor now that I got this idea from her. And then at the bottom, and I'm not going to do this on camera, but you'll be able to see my photo, my finished product on my blog um, at www.cricketology.blogspot.com. Um, I'm going to put her name down here so but I won't do that now so there it is so thanks for watching everyone bye